My name is Robert Ahrens, and I was a classmate of Andrew Cunanan's in junior high school back in the 80s. Andrew, from my recollection, was he was just like this happy-go-lucky, boisterous kid, always smiling and laughing, and he just had this life about him and this energy, and I think people kind of gravitated towards that. My name is Franz, and I knew Andrew. Andrew and I probably met through a mutual friend at one of the bars of the clubs in San Diego, in Hillcrest. It's the gay community. Andrew loved to be the center of attention, was always the know-it-all. He had to be the loudest one. He drew attention. Andrew was the kind of person you either loved him or you despised him. I was confused when I saw Andrew's face on television, thinking there had to have been a mistake. But Andrew's my friend, I know him. He's not capable of this. Listening to all of it play out on the media was unbelievable. Everyone that I knew wanted to know what was happening. You know, why did he leave? Did he leave on purpose? You know, none of us knew anything. It was all a spectacle on TV just being played out. I think there was a sense of panic in this town. There really was, especially in the LGBT community. There was a definite fear that maybe he was gonna come back and maybe kill somebody here in San Diego. The news and, and the killings that were being reported and the escalation of the violence I thought to myself, this is going to end really badly, and he's not going to come out of this alive. And that's, sure enough, that's what happened, you know, him taking his own life. I'm kind of glad it was him, because at least I know that's the end. You know, there won't be any more murders. The way I see it, it was a lost soul. Someone trying to fit in this world, who tried, who maybe made some poor mistakes, that led to bigger mistakes to a point where there was no coming back. He went too far down the tipping edge, the point of no return. My heart feels very sad for everyone, all those victims who were killed senselessly, helplessly, before their time.